Hello Seahawk Nation and welcome to this week's edition of Seahawk Central Sports. I'm Caitlin Dula here to keep you up to date on all things happening in the UNCW sporting world. Prepare your best victory chant because this weekend is filled with plenty of UNCW home games. But stay tuned for more because Seahawk Central Sports starts right now. Intramural basketball for all divisions tipped off last week. There are four different brackets including the men's gold, men's Greek, men's teal, and women's brackets. The team of the week goes to the Comets for scoring 80 points against the Cali Grapes in the first week of play. All games are held in the Student Rec Center, so be sure to check out your fellow Seahawks in action if you have a chance. Inner tube water volleyball is also in action this week when DZ, We Don't Care Much, and the Strikers face off against each other in the Student Rec Center pool. If anyone goes to those games, please tweet us a picture at TillTV. We'd love to see you guys. From extreme water sports at the rec to club sports, UNCW has it all. The men's ultimate frisbee team entered this weekend ranked 18th nationally. The team traveled to Charlotte, North Carolina to compete in the Queen City tune-up. After losing to UNC Chapel Hill in the second round, the Seahawks went on to play Appalachian State where they won and placed seventh overall in the tournament. Number one ranked UNC Chapel Hill went on to win the Queen City tune-up 15 to 12 after facing off against Harvard. For the first time in program history, the men's club ice hockey team made it to the BRHC Finals. The men secured their spot with wins over UNC Charlotte and rival ECU. The men beat UNC Charlotte with a score of 3-1, to one. but the excitement was short-lived in the championship game because Dub Hockey fell to Loyola 7-6 in a shutout. The team returns to action on February 21st for the ACHA D3 Regionals. The drought has ended for the UNCW men's basketball team. This week, they snapped a 14-game losing streak against CAA opponent Towson. The Seahawks won 66-53 against the Tigers in front of a home crowd in Trask Coliseum. Sophomore forward Dylan Sherwood came off the bench to score a career-high 14 points. The Seahawks, who had not won since December 3rd, only turned the ball over once in the contest. Wednesday concluded their third game in five days as they went head-to-head -head with Northeastern at home. As many of you already know from an email you received this week, the indoor men's track team will be discontinued for the 2014-2015 season. Chancellor Miller and his Intercollegiate Athletics Review Committee have decided due to the amendments to the Civil Rights Act of 1964, this would be the best choice. In an interview with WWAY, Joe Browning said the other track teams will not be affected because fortunately all the athletes were recruited for outdoor track. The men may still compete individually in meets but not as a team next season. Coach Sprecher and his staff will lead the men and women's outdoor track and men women's indoor track as planned next year. Three UNCW swimmers made a huge splash this weekend as they edged out the competition during the Virginia Tech Invitational at the Christianburg Aquatic Center. Seahawks Katie Lohr and Cameron Washburn tied for first place in the 100-meter freestyle with a time of 43 0.02 seconds. Jeff Liberta won the 200 meter butterfly, posting a time of 150.64. Wilmington will close out their season in College Park, Maryland on February 26th through March 1st. The UNCW softball season has begun as they played last weekend in the Charleston Southern Tournament. The Lady Seahawks knocked off Maryland Eastern Shore with a victory of 7-0. Freshman Jordan Payton pitched a great game, giving up only four hits and two walks. Seniors Morgan Ayers and Casey Hsu led the team with two hits apiece. The tournament concluded with UNCW holding a 1-2 and two record after losses against Elon and Charleston Southern. The Lady he Seahawks return to action on Friday, February 14th. This will be their first home game of the season. They are playing in the Seahawk Invitational at Bozeman Field and will face off against Norfolk and UMBC starting at 2 p.m. 
The Diamond Hawks will take the field this weekend as well. The men's baseball team will kick off their season with a three-game homestand. UNCW will face off against VMI Friday at 4 p.m. at Brooks Field. Other opponents in the Hughes Brothers Challenge include nationally ranked Kentucky and top ranked Virginia. Be sure to spread the love this Valentine's Day and support the baseball team in their journey to Omaha. Have you ever wondered who is behind the voice of the Seahawks? Field reporter Nolan Hardy sat down with Mike Vaccaro, assistant director of marketing, who is behind all the radio calls for the men's basketball team and baseball teams. Vaccaro calls all games which air on Sunny 104.5 FM. The entire interview will air on our YouTube page, but here's a short clip. Uh, to be a part of a winning program as a broadcaster was always something that, that drove me. As much as the players want to win championship games, I want to call championship games, and, and UNCW presented that opportunity in basketball and continues to present that opportunity in, uh, in baseball as well. Well, Seahawks, that's all we have for this week's episode of Seahawks Central Sports, presented by UNCW's Till TV. Be sure to check out all of our team's Twitter pages for the most up-to-date sports news. Until next time, I'm Caitlin Dula saying whether it's the club, intramural, or varsity athletics, we've got you covered. Good night, everyone.